Hello everybody. So today I'm going to share with you how I um, create the covers of my sketchbooks. So this is a C white 19 centimeter square chunky sketchbook which I really like because they have nice thick cartridge paper and they open up wide and they're just quite nice to work to work in. And so I've already gessoed the surface of this cover and the reason I've gessoed it is so that the paint that I'm subsequently going to apply doesn't just soak into the cover and it provides that sort of nice sort of uh, scratchy surface that, I can, that the paint adheres to really. And um, this is one of a number of sketchbooks and journals that I am developing that's going to parallel a whole series of paintings that I'm going to create over the coming months and years. And they're all going to be landscape focused. And this particular book is going to be all about the moorland. And it's going to be little drawings and colours and notes and ideas and thoughts. Um, and it's uh, the way I kind of work really. It's not going to be the only type of of book I create. I'm also going to have uh, a written journal that works in parallel and I'm also going to be developing Constantina sketchbooks, some of which will be drawing and painting, some of which will be uh, collage, I might even combine the two, I'm not quite sure yet, but suffice to say that this is going to be part of that set that parallels uh, a whole series of works, paintings about landscape and this one as I say is going to be about moorland. So um, I don't know, you probably can't see much of the palette at the side and all, it's not so exciting, it's just literally got some mixed colours. And I just wanted to say that all I've done is I've used a limited palette of paints and these are the paints. So I have used a lemon yellow, a uh, alizarin crimson and an ultramarine blue. And those three together with white are the colours that I've used. So if I put those to one side, I can probably move the book over so that you can see more of the palette. And it's quite a messy palette, so you might not be able to see all of it, but hopefully you can see enough of it and I will talk you through. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply paints and I might, uh, uh, the different colours, and I might actually um, use uh, some, some stamp mark making into it as well um, but I'm really quite keen just to provide an interesting kind of cover really so I'm not going to be overthinking this I'm just literally laying the paint down and I might even do some ad hoc stuff at the moment I'm desperately mixing some things because I didn't make enough paint so uh, I'm having to mix it and I'm trying to I'm going to be using the different uh, colors um, and all I'm trying to do really is to create a sort of a, a surface that in some respects, yeah, it's, it's what I'm hoping it gives an impression of moorland. Um, I'm not going to be getting too precious over it, so I'm going to be maybe make, making a bit of a, a mess in terms of some of the colours. Um, I do have some colours mixed as I say and I'm using different brushes so the the lighter colours as you can see have been done with using green uh, for now uh, but obviously it doesn't have to be like that um, whoops. so it's quite a warm day and so therefore the paint is kind of making a bit of drying quite quickly so I probably should be starting to add some stamps so this is actually just bubble wrap creates quite nice effects as <laughs> some of the paint that's already on it is coming off, off onto it um, nothing too precious where's my knitting needle I use a knitting needle quite often and I quite like the sort of scoring effects so I'm actually just trying to keep it quite loose um, Nothing, as I say, too precious about it. I've got a pot of water here that you probably can't see that I'm going to not so keen on that that uh, green there. So I'm changing that a bit. 
And I use this. I do the spine as well. In fact, I might do something clever with the spine and actually keep it one colour. sharing with you the different uh, sketchbooks and journals I'm going to be keeping as they're all at the sort of start point really and and what the purpose is so uh, you've seen me just do the cover for this one and as I said this is going to be all about uh, my moorland work so it's going to be ideas thoughts um, explorations uh, colour palettes that I'm looking at, uh, textures, things that I'm collecting or looking at that are associated with the uh, Moreland's work. So that's all going to be specific to the Moreland's work um, and any sketches in there are going to be necessarily quite small. Um, so that's going to be one thing. I'm also going to start keeping um, a journal which is mainly for my writing about ideas and thoughts uh, and general feelings etc and it's not going to be specific to a series it's just going to be an ongoing journal my go-to journal where I want to, where I might want to jot anything I'm thinking about or any thoughts or uh, feelings that I'm having at a particular time and I'm going to try and get into quite a regular practice with that this is just an A4 um, again C white as uh, travel journal so it's got one of these a nice page um, markers here and then it's got a pouch in the back of it um, and so that's going to be really really um, handy and I've been using those for a while for different courses that I've been doing uh, so that's all well and good and then I'm also going to have a series of um, sketchbooks really that I'm going to use on location that might well in a couple of years time I'm going to have uh, a big joint exhibition and uh, this work is for part of that so these sorts of sketchbooks might well get shown as part of the work so these are just Constantinas they're all clean I mean you've seen me use them before but this is just a Constantina and this is a very large Constantina which is an A4 size Constantina so I'll be using that on location as well and it'll be really handy because I'll be able to open that out and some of it might well be more representational and some of it might be quite abstract and then finally um, and I haven't even taken the cover off this yet I'm going to be using uh, these sorts of small sketchbooks to do ongoing um, uh, pieces um, sort of freewheeling exercise if you like and you've seen me again do my daily collage and it's that sort of thing that I intend putting in there it's nice thick paper it's not too big um, I can do them on a very regular basis without feeling precious about them 
and it might have an overlap with them with the actual moorlands or it might just be independent things i might start uh, looking and exploring certain things around composition certain things around pa uh, pattern and it enables me to do that in that sketchbook and again that might be something that i show so as you can see um i don't know exactly how all this is going to pan out but i'm going to start working in these and seeing how it all evolves um, and i'm going to start obviously by using the journal and my moorland sketchbook and um, um, I intend to uh, write uh, or post regularly about uh, the development of these sketchbooks because they will parallel, as I said, the development of a series of, of paintings and, and works for me. Thanks very much for listening. I hope you're keeping safe and well and take care. Bye bye.